Hi guys, it's Michael Hobson, the MAAQ President. I thought I'd take a few minutes today to talk to you about some of the things we need to be conscious of to maintain some of the privileges that we have as members of the MAAA. The MAAA over many years has worked closely with CASA and our history of, of um, safe operation of models has meant that we've got many privileges and advantages from the general members of the public. This includes the ability to um, fly heavy models over 25 kilos, conduct public displays, FPV exemptions, height exemptions, area approvals for our clubs, night flying. All of these things um, are, would not be available without a close working relationship with CASA and CASA taking into account our MOPs, our procedures and all the things that make us safe operators of model aircraft. One of our clubs has recently had an issue with one of its members um, allegedly flying over 400 feet. This was actually reported to CASA and um, uh, various authorities um, by a, by a full-size pilot. And that's led to a few questions being asked by CASA about what we're doing to make sure our members are continuing to comply with the rules. So some of you who've been flying for, you know, a few years will know that Back prior to 2017, we could pretty much, outside of controlled airspace, fly as high as we wanted, and as long as we maintained visual line of sight and avoided full-size aircraft, we could, we could get away with that. In 2017, that all changed. There was a directive put out by CASA which basically limited all aircraft, model aircraft, to a maximum height of 400 feet unless we had an area approval. So if your club doesn't have an area approval, it means that you must not fly above 400 feet. If you do fly above 400 feet, you will essentially be breaking the law and exposing yourself to potential prosecution under the Civil Aviation Safety Regulations. Now, it's not only important that, from an MAAA perspective, all members understand this, but clubs have to take responsibility for ensuring that their members are aware of it and their members follow these rules. We have a trusted position with CASA because they expect these rules to be followed. It's important that everyone in the clubs understand these rules and follow the rules. If you're in a club and members of your committee or anyone else for that matter tap you on the shoulder and say, hey, we think you're flying a little bit too high, please be respectful, take it into account. Um, clubs out there, committees out there, of talking to your members, making sure everyone understands the rules and perhaps if it's you know, contentious as to what 400 feet looks like. There's plenty of models out there these days with telemetry. Put up a plane, have everyone look at it, watch it, and, you know, see what a reasonable approximation of 400 feet actually looks like. It's not just about staying to 400 feet when there's full-size aircraft in the area. It's about staying to 400 feet always. Now, if your club is fortunate enough to have an area approval, which might say that you can fly to 1,000 feet or 1,500 feet, Everyone in the club needs to be aware of the conditions that attach to that approval. Um, pretty much every approval that's issued by CASA to an MAAA club will say that you have to follow MAAA rules, particularly the MOPs. These are the rules and the, the procedures that CASA rely on as the basis for being able to justify an exemption above or, or, or an allowance to fly above that 400 foot limit. Um, so, you know, the MOPs, the really simple stuff, do a range test at the start of the day. Make sure your control surfaces are moving in, in the correct directions. Check your fail safe. These are all procedures set out in the MOPs that everyone needs to follow. The other thing is, is if you've, if you've got an area approval, you need to be conscious of the conditions set out in that area approval. Um, if you're flying over 400 feet, it will be common that there's a need for a second person to act as a spotter whilst anyone's operating over 400 feet. It's becoming more and more common for area approvals to have a condition included which requires somebody to monitor the local um, radio frequency, the CTAF frequency. If that is in your uh, area approval, you can't fly over 400 feet unless you're actually doing that. Um, it is most likely gonna be a condition of your area approval that a no TAM is issued or that there's a permanent marking on uh, the relevant uh, aviation charts. These are all things that you as a pilot and you, if you're a club uh, secretary or president or, or committee member, you need to be aware of and need to be ensure 
that everyone follows these rules. Um, we'll be putting out more information uh, as things evolve. For example, next year, we're expecting registration and accreditation to be introduced by CASA for all pilots. Once again, based on MAAA's relationship and safety record with CASA, it is likely that MAAA members will be exempted from the registration and, re and registration and accreditation regime whilst they're operating at MAAA registered clubs. Um, this is all contingent upon our members doing the right thing and being seen to do the right thing by the regulator. Um, you know, we are in a good position with the regulator. The MAAA has great working relationships. Members of the executive are currently sitting on CASA technical working groups. The MAAA has recently appointed a uh, safety and regulatory affairs officer to liaise with CASA. Um, but we, on the ground, have to be seen to be doing the right things. So it's important that everyone understands the rules and follows the rules. If you've got any doubts about what you should or shouldn't be doing, by all means, talk to your club committee, your CFI, or if you need to, reach out to the MAAQ and we'll be happy to give you some guidance. Anyway, keep up the good work, safe flying, and uh, we look forward to catching up soon. Thanks, guys.